These three in the middle lie. They're all pieces of sh liars. Watch the video. Y'all raise hell about these motherfuckers. Because these three won't be here next year. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I bring to you the city council meeting that took place on July 15th, 2024 in Aransas Pass, Texas. If you remember, in the last city council meeting that I covered, I highlighted newly elected councilman Randy Haskins. In his campaign, he promised he would be for the people and he promised to change the corruption in the city that we've all been seeing play out on the Jason Followell YouTube channel. Well, Randy Haskins has only been in power a couple of months and it looks like he's already starting to flip-flop. Very disappointing to me. Anyways, him and Jason are going to go back and forth at the end of Jason's public comment. Also, I'm going to be leaving links to all the videos that Jason has been talking about and Jason's YouTube channel. Links will be in the description and the pinned comment. Y'all make sure y'all go over and check them out so you'll have the full context of what Jason's talking about. Let's get to it. I'll see y'all later. Okay, now we're going to go to Jason Follow-Up. Jason. Well, I didn't give my name because you don't have to sign in. You don't have to identify yourself. We're not criminals. What they're doing to you is a policy. It's not a law. You should know that, and you can look it up if you want. Baines versus City. It's a First Amendment right. Anyway, uh, my advice to you, Mr. Attorney, is to look into that and get that off of there because we can come up here and talk without having to identify. There's no reprisal. Same thing Carrie did to everybody when they were doing the annexation. She used that list to harass people, so we don't have to do that. I do like how you got rid of the illegal decorum you had up there. We're allowed to address these people and call them pieces of shit, whatever we want, so thank you for that. They are also allowed to talk back to us. It's a First Amendment right. No matter what policy you try to throw at them, you all can talk to us too. Now, Aaron Jones falsified a government do a document uh, about an investigation. <clears throat> the investigation was over Officer Valdez regarding Herman, the homeless man, that APPD right here beat inside his cell on 42624. They actually tortured the man. It's on YouTube if you want to watch it. Officer Valdez had text message between him and Herman. Herman asked for help because he was beat by a bat the week before these guys beat him up. Uh, Valdez basically told him on text message just to leave town. Officer Aaron Jones found no foundings on that. Yeah, what a joke, right? It's on YouTube, the text messages, and Facebook. You're a fucking liar. Allegation. It's also the allegation that Mr. Herman was placed in restraints and beat. Well, he was placed in restraints. He was beat. Uh, Officer Jones found this unfounding. Well, y'all can watch it on YouTube. The body cam feed is on my YouTube showing Herman was placed in restraints. These restraints are designed for a person sitting up. That's the way they're designed, and they laid him on the ground. This can cause him to aspirate and die, but I guess they didn't care, right? <clears throat> the restraints were bounded around this guy's genitals, and he's screaming in pain as these pieces of shit beat him <laughs> and found him not guilty. Come on. They tightened the strap several more times as he's screaming. It's around his junk. He's screaming for help, and they kept doing it. They also left his butt and his genitals hanging out as he was trapped for an hour. The female officer asked Mr. Jones if she should cover him up, and Mr. Jones said, and left him there with his butt and his dick hanging out. <laughs> Y'all people are disgusting. Anyway, they, they left him there for an hour. They actually lacerated his left arm, which you can see on the video. There's no wounds prior. But after they beat him up, they left him in a pool of his own fucking blood. Again, Officer Jones said, no foundings, not guilty, of course. They self audited themselves, right? Uh, Mr. Gray has some mental issues. He asked for mental assistance several times, asked to go to a psych ward several times, and Mr. Jones said that was a lie. He said it seven times on the fucking video. Seven. And he asked for a mental ward three. That's ten times cry for help. And instead of helping the man that got beat with a bat, y'all beat the crap out of him again. Worthless motherfucker you are. Watch the YouTube channel, guys. I don't fucking lie. This guy lies. These three in the middle lie. They're all pieces of shit and they're liars. Watch the video. Y'all raise hell about these motherfuckers. Because these three won't be here next year. Anyway, that's Texas Penal Code 3708. False report of a police officer. It's a class B misdemeanor. The proof's on the internet. There's no investigation. They didn't do an investigation. You know why? Because they're lying pieces of shit. If I wouldn't investigate it, y'all wouldn't even know about it. Shameful. Well, how do you and Gary say? Disgusting. Pieces of shit. Jason. 
I want to tell you something, and excuse me, I'm going to do this. <clears throat> I reviewed that video. For y'all that don't know me, I'm a 33-year police officer, retired police officer, an investigator, and I've done many cases like what he's talking about. And Jason, I reviewed that video. That police officers did not beat the man. They didn't do nothing to him. They tried to be respectful to him. Yeah, I know. Listen to me. Good. You had your time. Now it's mine. Well, because this is getting out of hand, Jason. Mm -hmm. He asked him. They asked him if he wanted them to pull their pants up, and he said no. They put him in that restraint deal because that's the way you do it when somebody is trying to hurt themselves. I don't know. Listen to me. I do not know why they didn't take him to the hospital. They have their own reasons, and I haven't asked. But as for your videos, he was not beat on by the police officers, oh, yes, and he was taken. He was. No, I'm not, Jason. I have the video. So do I. So do I. An hour. He was responsive, he was compliant, he wasn't a threat. They wrapped up his dick and slammed it. Jason, do you know why they put him in the wrap? Because he was standing up on the toilet, going to fall me. off of it. Show me. He won't get to that video. He denied me that video. Show me. That's what it is. Show me. You can't because he won't give it to you. Will you give me that video, Chief? I'll give you anything you want. I'll get it. They told me the video doesn't exist. Lying pieces of shit. This is getting out of hand. Oh, yeah. It's been out of hand. Just, it's been out of hand just point of clarification there was a, a very in-depth investigation uh, he never requested the documents that explain the gravity of that investigation the other thing is is he asked for all the body cam footage he received all the body cam footage uh, there is other video that the council may be privileged to that is recorded in-house we don't want to just publicly release it so as part of privilege for council I can share it but to release it publicly, I would have to seek an AG opinion to do so because it gives away security details inside of our secure facility. Thank you, Chief, and thank you, Mr. Haskins. Mayor, if I may, I'd like to use this as an educational opportunity. We have recently changed our agenda format. We've moved public comment to the beginning of our meetings rather than at the end of the meetings where it used to be. And we're trying to impose a procedure where citizens get their three minutes to speak council does not engage in dialogue back and forth the way the open meetings act is written it allows council members to ask factual questions and to receive a factual response and as i explained to you before when we set up this process it's my preference that council members wait until after the citizens have concluded their remarks and then now at this time council members can ask a factual question and any staff member can respond to that in a factual way. By doing that, we're not breaking the Open Meetings Act. And that's my goal here, is to keep us between the ditches and keep us in line with what the Open Meetings Act requires. So, Ms. Scruggs, earlier I said, I hope that you will circle back to this and ask a factual question such as, can you explain how Texas law, um, how, what is the interaction between the city and the housing authority under Texas law? Because I'd be happy to explain that. 